At 10.50 a.m., President Jerry Museveni made his way to the Kololo Independence Grounds to preside over the 36th National Liberation Day anniversary celebrations under the theme celebrating the 36th NRM Victory Day, a call to duty for all compatriots to continue towards Uganda's socio-economic transformation journey. Upon arrival, the president inspected the Guard of Honor in the company of the CDF General Wilson Mbadi. Of NRM, NRA Victory, under the theme, we have been able to educate our children. We have been able to have the transformation in the agricultural sector. The assemblage received prayers from the newly consecrated Archbishop of the Kampala Archdiocese, Paul Semogere, and the Deputy Moved Sheikh Abdullah Semambo. Anyone is not willing to work, let him not eat. And we pray well for all minds and souls of those that have and continue to contribute to peace. Only 547 guests were invited today. Some of the people in attendance included the Vice President Jessica Alupo, the Prime Minister Robin Nabanja, Chief Justice Alfonso Winyidolo, Deputy Speaker Anita Among, and several foreign dignitaries. In his speech, President Museveni spoke on how the economy got hit by the COVID-19 pandemic and how this affected the move towards attaining the long-mouth middle-income status. The middle-income status, which is $1,039, so in July, we shall be about $50 per short of the middle income status. And we would have achieved the middle income status if it had not been for the, uh, for the corona. According to Museveni, for growth and quick economic recovery, four areas of focus should be addressed, and these include agriculture, industry services, and information communication technology. I need to remind you of the way forward. The, the way we have been advising you for years now. The sectors of wealth creation are four from where you can get wealth and jobs. Sector one, agriculture. This alone can push us to the middle income, to the high, no, not low, but high middle income level. Museveni commended Ugandans for fighting bare knuckles against the coronavirus and warned all those that condemn and refuse pregnant students from attending school. The children come with Rotundu in the, in the school. That one I will discuss with, with the cabinet first and with the other people. Should the child come breastfeeding in the school? That one we shall again discuss quietly among ourselves. But what I can tell you straight, straight away, what I will not agree to, whatever happens, is to condemn a child not to continue with her education because she got pregnant once. That one I cannot accept. Going back to school, the children will go back to school, to, to the government schools. The president thanked DRC President Felix Chisekedi for his support in the fight of the ADF in Congo and spoke out on the instability in West African countries. Stop that little problem of ADF. ADF is nothing. We shall defeat them. We defeated them here. They were, they were from here. We defeated them. The LRA, coin were here. We defeated them. But you can see the problem which is happening now in more parts of Africa. The problem in West Africa started, by, started with the attack on Libya. I would like to really invite the African people, leaders, to sit down and we exchange views on how to build strength in Africa.
50 medals were today awarded to different people to honor them on Liberation Day. 29 were awarded the Independence Medal, one person the Nalubare Medal, four people were awarded the Luero Triangle Medal, while 16 got the Special Service Medal. Professor Patrick Engel Oguang. <laughs> Adams Mayambala, CTV, PM Edition. <laughs>